Hello. As you can see, I've done a Google search for um, protest art, murals, border wall, Mexico, and California. And I want to use that search example to show you some of the ways that you can uh, filter your Google image search results to better find what you're looking for. So after performing your keyword search in Google, um, you'll need to navigate to the images page of your search results. As you can see, a few images are featured right up top in my search results, but I want to uh, find more than that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click over so that I'm onto the images filter so that I'm only seeing uh, images in my search results. And um, that way I can filter those further to better find what I need. So Google provides some tools that you can use to uh, better sort your search results. One of the most useful ways to sort your search results is by size. If you're inserting an image into a paper or project you're doing, you want to be able to uh, use images that are large enough files and so they're of a high enough quality. So I'm going to use the size filter to narrow that down. You can see if I click this size filter then I have options and I'm going to go ahead and choose the large images so I can find the um, an image for my project. Um, of course there are other options too like if you know that you're looking for images of a specific color uh, you can filter your uh, images even further uh, that way. Um, so you have a lot of options here. Usage rights allows you to look for images that uh, aren't protected by copyright and so you're freely available to use um, in your projects. So there's a lot of different ways that you can filter your search results. I'm going to kind of reset some of this stuff, not filtered by license, not filtered by color, and I'm just going to focus on the search results for images that are of a large size. I'm going to scroll through the searches until I find an image that I'm interested in. Here's one I like and I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Once you click on it, it gives you some options to visit the web page that the uh, image is from and in that way you can identify the um, captioning and citation information that you need to complete your paper. So um, I can see here it says that it's from NPR and I'm going to go ahead and visit this site. It's going to open it up in a new tab and it's on a uh, NPR story. It looks like there's a uh, there's an associated recording with it and then here's a larger version of the image itself. Um, underneath the image you'll find since this is a um, high quality website that the artwork has a caption associated with it so we know who the photographer was and we also know the source of the image um, and a little bit more information about it. And so this is how you can do that um, to find your image and to find that citation information that you need. So make sure when you find your images to click through Filter for what you want, and then second, click through to the website so you can find citation details. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.